Hi, I'm Elizabeth Morrison, and I'm a professor in the management and organizations area. And I served as Dean of Faculty from 2012 to 2018. I teach two courses to the part-time MBA students, Leadership in Organizations, which students take in their first year, and a course called Collaboration, Conflict and Negotiation, which is an experiential course focused on developing skills related to resolving differences and reaching effective agreements. My primary area of research is in the different ways in which people take initiative at work and what drives them to take initiative and the effects that self-initiated behavior has. It actually comes into the course that I teach, the Leadership and Organizations course, where we talk about the importance of a psychologically safe workplace where employees feel empowered and comfortable raising issues and concern. And we talk a lot about issues of, related to upward communication. I love the students come right from their jobs to the class and then they go back to work the next day. So that means they bring with them all of their experiences and observations about life and organizations. And then they're able to immediately apply what they've learned in class and see those connections. I also love that students have a wide variety of interests and backgrounds and career aspirations. Um, in the last class that I taught uh, last fall, I had a teacher who wants to start her own school. I had an architect lawyers, I had students in healthcare, publishing, real estate, technology, the not-for-profit sector, and that diversity just makes for a really rich and exciting conversation in the class. The students are expected to be present in class since the learning process is highly interactive and the learning happens from one another. However, I know that sometimes there are conflicts at work and in those cases, students can watch the recording of the class and they can post or share their thoughts and reactions to the conversation to me and or to their classmates. Also, rather than having fixed office hours, which I know doesn't always work for all students, students know that I'm readily available by email and I'm happy to set up a time to meet with them whenever they wish to do so. There are two things in particular that I think really make for a successful student experience in the part-time MBA program. The first is good time management and good organizational skills. And the second is an openness to learning and to challenging preconceived ideas and trying out new things. I love it when I get a note from a student. It could be three months after the course is over or three years after the course is over, thanking me for something they learned in the course. But more importantly, when they've had that aha moment where they see a connection between something we learned in class and something they're dealing with in their workplace. I have a few pieces of advice for anyone uh, interested in the part-time MBA program at Stern. First is to talk to as many students as possible as you can. And they're the ones that are really gonna give you a sense of what it's like to be a student in the program. Second, I would say to help the admissions team to understand what makes you unique and don't worry about fitting a mold in terms of your background or your career goals, because there is no mold. And part of what makes Stern such a special place is the diversity of the student body. 